Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Thronefall. We are continuing to continue our eternal trials. We are on stage 11. Starting to close in where we're going to have all the perks. I think that'll happen this episode, maybe, unless we lose. Uh, this seems like an incredible combo of perks. We already have the uh, healing potions, so I imagine all healing effects includes that. So that plus melee resistance seems like just to like the absolute like most god tier combo there ever was. Looks like we've got a desert oofer wins. We've got nine crossbowmen and three ogres. <laughs> Are you serious, brother? Okay. Well, uh, how many waves are there? There's eleven waves, bro. Uh, I mean, I think. I think we want a fucking hero. Like, absolutely. For our unit... I mean, I always like the Lizard Rider. I think it's the best unit, just in terms of sheer damage. I'm going to get a Harbor as well. I think that will be the best use of cash that we could have. And I guess we'll try to fight these guys sort of back here-ish. Actually, I lied. I'm going to fight them here. I mean, the Lizard Rider is so goaded that I think we're not going to actually have trouble. But it's definitely a scary-ass wave to start off with. See, we're starting to stack up ogres. Just going to use my special ability so I can focus an ogre down real quick. It's probably going to end up where I will have to juggle two ogre aggro, which is what it is. Shouldn't be too hard, actually, with the spear, because it's high fire rate. Okay, you know what? That was not that bad at all, actually. In fact, I think that was a pretty easy wave. So now we've got 18 wasps and 13 barrel knights. <laughs> Excuse me? What the fuck? They're really laying it on thick. Uh, I guess I'll get some berserkers. And a tower. I'll get like a... This tower up here. Because I have the super tower perk. And then I can get this... Uh, Harbor over here. That way it will be guaranteed to have like some late game economy. I'm pretty sure the lizard man is gonna focus the wasps as well. Oh no, I over prepared. I didn't need to build the tower. My mistake. I always forget that the endless move mode waves they don't like spawn the dudes all at once, to be honest. Yeah, they're just, it's just being chilling. Easiest way of my life. I think I said that like about a bajillion times in the previous two episodes. Uh, okay, 19 barrel knights and 15 mages. I mean, that's a lot of barrel knights. I'm gonna probably fuck up my harbor too. A little bastards. Um, I do think the... The Lizard Rider should be good enough to fight the dudes. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of fucking mages. I'm sure the Lizard Rider will have a good, be good enough. I mean, if, if the Lizard Rider fails and we lose the harbor, that would really, really, really suck. But I want to invest in the economy before it's too late. So I think this is pretty much the time to shine, right? Especially if my Berserkers are not powerful enough. Maybe I could get another set of Berserkers, actually, just to uh, make sure the harbor doesn't go away. I think that'll probably be worthwhile. I mean, if, if it does actually prevent these guys from destroying that harbor, then that's four gold for two gold, which is pretty much the going rate. I'm just going to trust the Lizard Rider. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll see what the Barrel Knights are doing. 
If it looks like the Berserkers ha have this easily, then I can go watch the uh, Lizard Rider. Okay, the Lizard Rider is not even taking damage. Cool. That's pretty fantastic. Another win for the slow unit uh, trickle. I am completely unconcerned. I probably should have built the other harbor, but, you know. I think that would have been a little bit foolhardy. Okay, now I've got 50 trebuchets and 30 uh, mages. That, that is also a lot of units. I mean, I think the 8 axemen should deal with the catapult guys pretty much like instantaneously. And I do think that the lizard in combination with the bunch of mills should probably be good enough at destroying the mages, right? Because all these mills are going to be firing from super far away. The only thing that's maybe going to happen is I could see these catapults like sniping a mill thing. You know, a field. There's not really a ton I can do about that. Which is what it is. I think it's time to continue to invest in the economy. I could probably get a... Yeah, blacksmith going as well. Just get... Um... I don't know, range resistance, I think. Then I can get the other harbor over here. Some houses. And we should be good. Fantastic. Hopefully we don't just randomly lose. Okay, looks like the Lizard Riders are just kind of... Or the Lizard Rider is sort of sitting... <laughs> oh no! I was going to say sitting out of range. My poor field. I mean, I knew this was going to happen. Actually, the Berserkers, I think, are dying a little bit. No, never mind. They're completely fine. No, never mind. There's a bunch new... A bunch more units. No, they're doing good. Oh, are you kidding me? Fucking douchebags. I can't believe it. I guess I should have been getting in there. My damage sucks so much, though. Oh, motherfucker. Bro. Lost like seven gold. That's so ass. Now I've got 90 archers and 65 wasps uh okay i think we definitely need some more archers or i guess some archers at all i think i'll pick hunters and more hunters maybe i could have picked my own crossbows to sort of counteract the enemy range stuff because that's what they're good against but it be would it be uh, we are going to have the Lizard Rider, and we are going to have these Windmill Scarecrows, which will provide their own sort of DPS. We do have a tower as well. I think I should definitely level up my fort right now. Uh, I'll just pick Builder's Guild. I don't think my damage really is much to... Uh, make note of. Then for the last bits of gold, uh, I could... I can't really upgrade anything. I could build another tower, or I guess I could upgrade the one tower. I think I'll do the latter. And I'll build a house. And hopefully the like super tower will be enough. I have a feeling the crossbowman might get super fucking shredded. Which, or uh, the Berserkers might get super shredded by the crossbowman. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, the poor Lizard Rider is getting fucked too. Okay, Lizard Rider is now went behind the tower. Oh no, oh Jesus Christ. That is so ridiculous. Oh. 
Okay. The tower has been destroyed. Uh, I guess I'll just tank as much as I can for a little bit. We survived. I lived, bitch. Oh, no. Uh, that's not good. Is there any other towers? Fuck. Wait a second. I'm letting too much shit get uh, blown up. Please. I just need the lizard rider to respawn and then I can micro it. Oh no. My fucking archers are fucking shit up. I mean, I do have a pretty good, pretty strong fort. Yeah, th there's no universe in which the lizard riders respawn quickly enough. Guess we just need our uh, castle to do the rest of the work here. We should be good. I kind of think that the castle is going to be able to survive the onslaught. And then it's going to be pretty much no big deal. Oh yeah, the houses also have arrows. Completely forgot about that. Okay, we're golden. It's been saved. That was a huge uh, bungle. I definitely should not have invested in the economy at all. I should have just had, I think, like four more berserkers or a leveled up lizard, and then we would have been good. Now we are super duper duper behind, which is extremely not good. Uh, hmm. I mean, what the hell are we gonna do? Fuck. This is really spicy. I think first things first, hero being twice as strong. Just uh, is like a no-brainer. I think getting the berserkers in here to basically just tank aggro from the mots uh, will be cool. I think a tower to eat the spiky balls will be cool. And some more scarecrows uh, will be nice because the wave is mostly air units. I get that uh, a lot of these scarecrows are probably just going to get like instantaneously yoded by the... Uh, Spiky balls, but there's not really a ton I can do about that. I think I'm going to hold position the archers over here. The archers should have 60% more range than normal. Mmm. I'll be slightly greedy with it. I know. It's the same, like, same sweet words that were uttered to fucking destroy my life last time, but still. I think it's different this time. It's not a hundred archers. Oh yeah, the spiky balls are getting like fucking turbo sniped. That's actually amazing. I mean, okay, our tower is looking <laughs> pretty worse for wear. <laughs> but it is what it is. There goes our scarecrows as well. That also is what it is. I see my lizard man just doesn't focus the uh, spiky balls at all. But there we go. That's the last of the wave. Unless there's just going to be like a pause and then another like 100 dudes. There we go. Was perfectly fine. We just lost four bits of gold. 172 horsemen? Are you actually fucking serious? Oh, okay. Well, I mean... God damn. I think we probably should level up the hero once more. Uh, I'm just going to get Godly Curse. I think that will synergize well. Then the lizard leveling up. Boom. And then I guess four more archers will be cool. Because the hunter archers do counter the horsemen a little bit. Then, it's just going to be Hunter Archers in the back. I probably should pull the uh, Axemen back so that the Orsonoids can spawn. Because if your dudes are on an enemy as they spawn, it will 
cause like a uh, they spawn with a little AOE explosion of damage. There's no reason to fuck around with that, especially since uh, you know it's gonna be such an insane wave that like the, there'll be so many dudes that my axemen won't be able to get to the back line, so that will save them HP. Ultimately, unless they just push past the horsemen or some shit. Okay, well, I mean, I might as well get in there, too. No reason not to. I mean, I might randomly die, but that's the cost of doing business. See, the horsemen are just fucking pushing in. I mean, the berserkers are actually holding their own a bit, come to think of it. Like, we're actually beating them back on the bottom side, and some berserkers are spawning back in once more. Magnificent. Guess I'm gonna spread some love up here. Just tank some of the blows. Wow. That was an easy wave. Absolutely love to see it. Now it's 113 of the fucking super dudes and many, many, many uh, roly polies. The roly polies definitely scare me. Uh, 1 million percent. I think I'm going to get an ironclad tower here, and I'm going to get a wall. The wall will sort of, you know, block, block the spiky balls, delay them to some degree. Isn't there another turret? There is another tower. Uh, perhaps another ironclad tower. I mean, it would probably make more sense to just get more berserkers. Because more berserkers is more anti-armor technology. Uh, my dudes are all kind of like fucked up, so I might as well just like pile them in back here. There's no reason to have the berserkers like in front of the wall because they're literally going to run from the wall anyways. I mean, maybe that's not true. Uh should probably hold position the hunters. The hunters have a, like a foul tendency of just like running up and getting themselves killed. Maybe it may, would make sense to have some of the berserkers up front to just save some wall HP. I guess I'll put them right here. I think that's all we can do. I mean I could build another tower somewhere I guess. Not that would particularly help. I think I want to just econ up very slightly. So boom. Two more gold invested in the economy. We have five waves remaining, so, you know. It's completely fine. It will pay off. Guess I'll personally get in there. Just absorb a little bit of damage. Do a little bit of damage. We do have castle fortifications, actually, so the walls are incredibly durable. Oh, we're completely fine. Guess that's just the power of elite units. Guess I'll just sit near uh, the ironclad tower. Just get its fire rate boosted. One duffel. Didn't lose a single building. Not even the wall. Uh, 78 spiky balls is definitely gonna, <laughs> you know, fuck shit up for sure. I think the key to defeating them is going to be, you know, maximizing our archer count. I think I'm going to want to get range damage as well. Because uh, we should have enough time. Maybe, maybe that was a mistake. Uh, I guess I'm just going to yoink all the units. We're going to want them to just be like hold position back here, basically sort of out of the way of the spiky ball's path as much as possible. Oh, there's not really good spots for the motherfuckers. I guess right here. Then I'll just have berserkers stand, like, in the way, vaguely. They're probably going to instantaneously explode the spiky balls, but it is what it is. 
Uh, then we probably just want to get the remaining archers in position. I'll put a couple of them down here. I think that'll be cool. I think with the rest of the money, I'm definitely going to want to economy up a little bit. So I think we're going to be fine. And the full Harpers seem just like a no-brainer decision to me. As like a candidates to level up. But speaking of no-brainer ones, uh, probably get some leveled up farms as well. Just get even more like fields going. And, uh, these hunters I'm just going to put right here. There we go. So I imagine, yeah, the walls are instantaneously going to get destroyed. We're probably going to lose fields instantaneously as well. It just is what it is. The ironclad also destined to be destroyed. Okay, looks like the spiky balls are thankfully, like, focusing the tower. No, never mind. They've abandoned that job. That decision. They're just destroying everything. It'd be what it'd be. Oh, no. Oh, did they destroy my hero building? That's so disrespectful. Whatever. I'm just gonna tank blows from these guys. Until, like, all my forces just deal with the Mothras. I think we're probably gonna be fine. All of our range units are respawning. We have scarecrows pinging the mods from afar. What? Excuse me? What's with those balls? They better not like go hit shit in the distance. That would be bullshit. Okay, there we go. Wave solved. I don't think there was really much we could have done. I guess we could have like leveled up the walls. That would have probably been like the best damage mitigator because each of the spiky balls would have had to, uh, you know, explode on more durable buildings. Yeah. Okay. That was the primary mistake. It'd be what it'd be. At the end of the day, we still have a robust economy. It looks like we're fighting all Lee units, uh, which is very dangerous, very scary. I think I'm just going to level up two Ironclad Towers right now. This will take a shitload of damage and, do, and deal a shitload of damage. I guess I could get a... I want to say a Ballista. Maybe that's not the greatest decision, but whatever. Then I'm going to have one group of Berserkers sort of stand over here. And the other group of Berserkers are going to stand like right at the wall gate. Then all my Hunters are just going to be hold positioned behind the wall. Because there's no reason to be like super precious with it. There we go. Magnificent. I think this will probably be an easier wave. Not 100 percent sure. I mean it is all elite units after all. But I don't know. We have all hunters, hunters, counter monsters. These are all monster units. Have sturdy walls. Could go either way. <laughs> Actually, it looks like our, <laughs> our axe dudes are getting fucked. I think the axe dudes behind the gate is definitely not a good decision. Looks like they're getting like turbo stuck. How all be would it be? Looks like all the horsemen have broken through now. Uh, the spiky balls are pretty fucking terrifying. I think I'm gonna try my best to slow them down. We might, it might actually be game over. Are you actually serious, bro? I 
I mean, it's not like guaranteed game over yet. Oh, because we do have castle fortifications. Okay, never mind. The towers are all helping out. We lost a bit of a chunk of our economy. At the end of the day, that is fine. Now, uh, is this the last wave? This is the last wave. So we've got just mages coming from all four corners of the universe. Uh, somehow I feel less in danger than the last wave. Maybe I'm just being arrogant, but... Like, our berserkers are perfectly built to counter the barrel knights, right? So we're going to have... The berserkers fighting the barrel knights. And it's going to be like an awesome, like... Slog, basically. Because the barrel knights have a lot of HP and do very little damage, and... My barbarians have a lot of HP and do a little, very little damage. I think another tower over here would be cool. Oh, almost start of the night. That would have been disastrous. So get another fortress tower over here. I guess I could get... Mm, I don't know. There's a fuck ton of dudes coming from this right hand side. I'm a little bit scared of that, to be honest. Maybe we get another fortress tower over here as well. I kind of want to get like a ballista tower somewhere too. Maybe over here. That way it'll be able to cover like all of the flanks. We cannot get a ballista tower. Oh no, I miscalculated that. Well, in that case, I think just a bunch of shittier towers should be fine. It is going to reduce our score a little bit. Some more buildings are going to be destroyed, but it is what it is. So now for unit placement of everyone else. I mean, I think like three hunter archers just in each of the zones should be good enough. I don't think I even need to, like, hold position them, really. So they're going to naturally want to, like, go out and fight shit. The Lizard Rider I'm going to have be stationed up here. So that that way uh, it can just, like, cover this whole, like, region on the right-hand side and I won't have to worry about it all that much. I think I'm going to want a pack of... Hunters, I'm just going to say six of the motherfuckers to be guarding the southern side of where the, like, harpers are and stuff. That way they'll be able to kind of prevent just some sort of horrible, like, castle rush, basically. And the remaining hunters can be here. Why the fuck not? Alrighty. You have one gold remaining, so there's no reason not to just send it. it does look like the the normal wizards are splitting the difference and going both to the Iron Fortress and also to the Blacksmith. Looks like their spawn rate is absolutely abysmal as well. So I was literally worried for no reason. Literally just like passing the time. It's hilarious. Looks like the scarecrows completely eviscerate the golden uh, wizards, too. Cool. Interesting. Yep, the normal wizards are just getting one shot by the lizard rider. It's actually hilarious. Oh, they're smacking the walls instead of the scarecrows. It's actually their downfall. Alright, I think this is the last wave. That's what my gut intuition tells me. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think this is. It's like a double-double. I didn't want to spawn too many dudes all at once. 
fantastic. Oh no, there's still more. <laughs> there's still more. Fuck, how many of these guys are spawning? It better not be like 10 dudes spawning 10 times. That would be such a slog. My fucking hunters are literally going outside the castle walls just to get a piece of the action. What's that mage doing up there? What? <laughs> It's like the second or third time I saw a mage like a runaway. Oh no, there we go. Glorious. Stage 11 complete. Love to see it. So our next bonus is either money and more HP, money and nerfing all our units, or Quicker regenerating units and quicker regenerating health. Um, I mean, I like the Treasure Hunter one. I feel like that one is just really badass. And the heavy armor would let us get, like, glass cannon, I guess. Don't get me wrong, I think Gladiator School is also, like, incredibly good. But I think if our economy gets fucked up, it'll be nice to have 50 gold left over to just like you know do nefarious things with uh, okay that's a lot of spiky balls I do think we just need hunters to deal with them I'm not quite sure what my like split should be because I'm gonna want a mine I think guaranteed otherwise we're gonna be like fucking turbo fucked. That doesn't really leave us with uh, much economy. I guess I'll just put a house down. And I guess I'm just gonna split the uh, archers so that two of them are down here. The two hunters over here should be able to fucking absolutely destroy the spiky balls before they you know, arrive. I'll just double check to see if I have to advance tactics. I do not. It's extremely easy wave. What about these guys? Now nah, they're also getting fucked. Magnificent. Love to see it. Very glad I didn't over prepare. Now it's 10 spiky balls and 9 horses. I think... Uh, to be honest, I kind of feel like we can get away with just the hunters once more. But that might be incredibly foolhardy. But think of the gold though. Oh, I love the gold. I mean, the easiest thing we could do is set up a tower or a ramp. If I set up a tower, I guess I could build two houses. Yeah, okay. I won't greed max to the nth degree, just in case, I don't know, all the dudes like spawn in rapid succession or something. Yeah, like that. No, I mean, they're spawning half and half. Okay. That's not too terrible. I think I am glad I sp fucking spent for the tower. <laughs> Stuff's looking a little bit dubious. There we go. Wonderful. Alright, now we're fighting a real fucked up wave. It's dudes coming from every single angle. A bajillion wasps. That's kind of uh, really fucked up. Um, how are we gonna handle this? I mean, I think we need more units for sure. I guess the units could be hunters. Or I think the units should probably be hunters. Luckily, we don't have any economy up top to get fucked up, so there's no reason I couldn't. Uh, just basically leave the areas to fend for themselves, right? I think I want some spearmen, too. 
just to help deal with the top right hand lane. And, uh, I don't know, maybe another tower, too. And the rest of the money can just go for houses. Where would I put the tower? I guess I could put the tower, uh... I was gonna say in the top left, but it would be kind of cool if we didn't ever build anything in the top left so that the dudes would never, like, path up there. Um... I'll put a tower here. And then I'll just build some houses. The houses actually, uh, you know, shoot. So that will help against the wasps as well. And I think we can send it. I think we're gonna be fine. The wasps might fuck our shit up, depending on how the uh, targeting works out. Okay, looks like it's not the case. Looks like the house has pretty much one-shot the wasps as well. Wait, the wasps are following the ground lanes? That's interesting. Why don't the wasps just, like, fly over to uh, attack the houses, I wonder? Okay. A relatively straightforward wave. And now we've got second verse, same as the first. But there is some um, barrel knights. Uh, for the Barrel Knights, I definitely am just gonna get, like, Berserkers right now, because Berserkers are good. Berserkers will help out against them. Uh, this is really spicy. I think we need to level up our place, and, uh, hold up. There's five waves remaining. I'm just gonna get Royal Training. I think Builder's Guild is dumb. In this case, don't think it's going to give us enough. Uh, I have a feeling that four spearmen should be able to deal with seven slimes and four horsemen. I think it just makes sense. Also, I think having the scarecrows... Do I have pumpkin fields? I do have pumpkin fields. Oh, okay. These scarecrows will definitely be able to just fuck up the wasps. We have four gold remaining. It's enough for a tower. Uh, which I could place one, actually. No reason not to. I could do a battle ramp as well. I think that might be better. If I was going to do a battle ramp, where would I put it? I guess in the bottom left. Like down here would be cool. So that way it'll stagger these two uh, lanes even more. That would be nice. So, hmm. Yeah, I think the top is fine. I think the wasps are fine. A little bit concerned about top left. I think I want to have like a couple archers just hold positioned here. And they, in combination with the houses, in combination with me and the fort, should do enough damage. These two like free rider dudes I think will be perfectly fine by themselves uh, to deal with the three wasps. The only risk is them like walking away from their post. Okay. Top left is looking a little bit fucked. I'm just gonna tank aggro. Alright, top left is completely fine. I need not tank aggro anymore. There we go. Don't think we lost a single building. Realm 100% protected. Now we've got wasps and spiky balls. Oh. Very dangerous combination, for sure. Uh, I mean, the wasps are not that dangerous. It is purely the spiky balls. I think we just build a wall and two towers over here. That way, that'll hold off the spiky ball dudes. And hopefully the spiky balls, they just self-destruct on the wall. Leave my other shit to 
to, uh, you know, do its thing. I think I'm going to level up all of my units by one. Even though it's a humongous, like, investment, it will make it easier to ward off the Deuterinos. Which would be nice. That way I can have, like, a three hunters sort of camps down here. The four hunters over here. A smattering of hunters over here. Uh, we probably want some more hunters up here as well. That way the spiky balls won't get to do their antics. I think the berserkers should go up here. Then the two hunters will deal with the little uh, flyer dudes. The flyer dudes pose a lot less of a threat when you have, uh, you know, fortified houses and fortified fields and scarecrows. Yeah, I think this will be fine. I'm slightly concerned about the top, but at the same time, I think the top is pretty set. Unless the spiky ball, like, fucking destroys our dudes. We did end up losing some towers, but that is just life, you know. Pretty much guaranteed with the catapults. It's a little bit annoying, but they can just, like, instantaneously destroy those things. Poor catapults are so slow. It's actually hilarious. It's going to be a little while. There we go. Okay, so now we're fighting considerably more of an air threat coming from all directions. I think I'm perfectly content to continue to invest in the fields. Because the fields give scarecrows. Scarecrows counter the air units pretty nicely just by themselves. I think that's enough dudes on the right-hand side. I guess there's no reason I couldn't have a tower over here to help with the wasps. Or I guess, like, perfectly deal with the wasps, because I don't think we need two hunters if we have a tower there. So that'll be an option for us. I definitely am going to want some barricades. That will slow down all the deuterinos. Which will be extremely useful, considering the circumstances. Uh, I kind of think I want another field of scarecrows up here as well. So there's gonna be so many, like free shots at the flyers. I think it's just extremely goaded. I guess these two hunters can go over here. So I think this area is a little bit lacking slightly. That should be good enough. Two ramps are going to like half HP or worse the spiky balls. And they're going to slow down all the other units. And towers will just be able to go crazy with it. I think it'll work out. Uh, I mean, the spiky balls, like, instantaneously having my, uh, defenses is a little bit fucked. Oh, be what it be. Does look like just the three berserkers are enough. Meanwhile, top lane is looking pretty fucked as well. Does look like the houses do contribute. I was a little bit worried they didn't have enough range. But they do. So it probably would be worth upgrading all of them for defensive purposes. Uh, we've got a few more knights remaining as well, so we will get our money back. So it's definitely just worth doing this. I think I'm going to just preemptively level this guy up. Um, I'll go for a royal mastery as well, because I am constantly shooting anyways, right? I don't think there's like a super great reason to invest in the economy. Uh, this probably should be an ironclad tower just to tank like a catapult shot before getting destroyed. 
think that would be awesome. Probably am going to want some unit level ups as well. I mean, a couple tower level ups here will be nice too. Uh, what would be the best unit to level up? I mean, generally speaking, I think Hunter Archers are just like extremely goaded. I think we are going to want two more Hunter Archers up here because the top lane consistently is underperforming. Then, uh, fuck, this bottom lane looks pretty fucked up as well. Not sure what we can do about that. I mean, we could bring like a Berserker over, I guess. Just to brawl. I kind of think I want Berserkers on the left hand side. I'll do the one. It'll be the one hero berserker holding the line, you know. The top right hand lane should be pretty nice just in and of itself. So I'm just gonna send it. Oh man, all these towers are getting fucked by the uh, catapults. That's so ass. My poor houses, too. That's extremely annoying. How oh, well be would it be? Just gonna stand next to this tower to upgrade its fire rate. Looks like my single berserker has come back from the grave and is coming for revenge. Meanwhile, the barrel knights here have fucked up my fields. Okay, there we go. We took some economic damage, but at the end of the day, uh, we didn't really lose anything too crazy. The bread basket still survives. So we have 115 gold. Is this the last wave? No, this is the second last wave. This is a pretty spicy wave. I definitely think the ironclad technology is just the way to go, because that lets the towers take more hits from the catapults. Then over here we could do a ballista. I think all the central ones should be ballistas, because that way they will target the catapults in advance. Uh, probably could do with upgrading a unit. I think it will be the berserkers. Then I'm going to have the Berserkers down on the right-hand side. So that they can, you know, help hopefully preemptively deal with the Catapult. Bring another Berserker here. Level this tower up. There's eight gold remaining. I think the... Can I upgrade this? I can upgrade the wall. And in that case, I think that is probably pretty good use of cash ola. I think I want to bring the units up a little bit. I think it will help against the spiky balls. Because I want the spiky balls just like instantaneously like pierce our defenses and just smack against the wall uselessly. Over and over. The air units are of no great concern. The top left is looking pretty fucking spicy. I think I'll just get even more hunters to sort of watch the top left. And there we go. Second last wave. Guess I'm just gonna chill next to the Ballista Tower. Oh yeah, the catapults are really fucking up my duders. Or my Ironclad Towers too. That's pretty spicy. The golden spiky balls are also incredibly spicy. Though it does look like they are getting destroyed. Okay, top is held. Lost a little bit of economy, but it's no big deal. How's top right going? Okay, top right is perfectly fine. Uh, the scarecrows are targeting in is slightly out of reach. <laughs> That's a little bit rude. Why are the scarecrows missing so much, bro? Are you kidding me? Absolutely needs to get fixed badly. So now for our last wave, we've got 217 bucks. 
obviously, just preemptively, I'm gonna... Oh, jeez, almost started up the night. I'm just gonna level up the unit buildings. There's no reason not to. We are filthy rich. I guess I'll level up this field as well, just to get two more scarecrows. So I think that is hilarious. These ones don't provide scarecrows, so there's no reason to level them up. Ironclad tower over here. Tank some catapult shots. Will be nice. Could do a... I kind of want to level up, or I want some more ballista towers somewhere as well. I guess this could be another one. I think having a ballista force field will be cool. In fact, I might as well get a wall. There's no reason not to. Just a ballista and normal fortress tower force field. A ballista over here wouldn't be too bad, actually. Just boom. It'll be able to reach the catapults and shit. I think the same could be said over here, though it is dedicating a lot of cash to the top hand side. I think that is completely acceptable. Uh, there's not really that many ironclad towers down, or uh, catapults down there. Hmm. Maybe uh, this could be a ballista up here? I kind of think this one. Right in this corner should be an ironclad. So that way, you know, all these Aryans are going to go there against them. And then this one can be a ballista tower. That way it'll be able to help out at the end of this ramp over here. As for unit placement, uh, I mean, I think the unit placement's looking pretty good already. I guess I'll have some spearmen sort of hold positions over here, as I normally do. I'll have some archers up here to help deal with the spiky balls. I'll just put them back here, so that they don't get fucking annihilated. They have plus 60% range, so they should still be in range. And I guess the last of the spearmen can go in the bottom right. Does that make sense? Don't think that really makes sense. There's only three ground units there. Uh, they could go in the top right, maybe. Top right looks pretty considerable. Just the sheer amount of forces. Man, so many spiky balls, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. There's about a metric shitload of things for the spiky balls to explode themselves on as well. So I don't think we have any danger, even if the top Right, totally capitulates of like the spiky balls like running in, destroying my shit. So I think this wave's gonna be completely fine. Just supercharging the ironclad towers to get rid of the air units here. I see the roly polies have immediately gotten through, and they're fucking up my shit. Roly polies actually are kind of a threat. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it looks like they're being dealt with perfectly fine. Oh my god, the top right did instantly capitulate. That's so rude. Oh well, it'd be what it'd be. Top right defended. Bottom left is looking pretty fucking spicy as well. There we go. Magnificent. Wave 12 destroyed. What are we in for next? So, stronger heroes in warrior mode, so weaker units. No thank you. Uh, I think faster research and gladiator school are pretty good. Ring of Res Resurrection's not bad either. Could be extremely useful. Especially if you're going to revive units without the buildings being there. But I'm going to go for Gladiator School instead. So that way, you know, the units will always be good. What the fuck? Oh wait, hold up. We, we're starting with 80 gold. 
Oh, this is a really sp It's a one night Marty. Are you kidding me? That's so badass. Okay, uh, in that case, I guess... I'm not really taking much damage, so I might as well get the Assassin's Training. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I think spin winners do kind of extremely suck. and But, you know, AoE is kind of king here. Definitely going to want... Um, I guess the fire wing would be cool. That way, worst case scenario. Shit doesn't get super duper fucked. Uh, I think we are just gonna want more units as well. So I'm gonna unlock these guys. I think it's gonna be fire archers and I could do hunters. I think that would be cool. Just gonna yoink these guys up. So that's the preliminaries. Uh, sort of set up. Then next on the docket, what do we upgrade? I mean, I think the melee units make the most sense because they're gonna be the ones who are just like trading blows with the foes. So that'll be nice. And then I kind of think I just want like, a tower or two. Oh, you know what happened, actually? Uh, that's kind of stinky. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I think what happened is, because this is the last wave, I had an extra 50 gold. Uh, because of the perk, which gives you an extra 50 gold. Uh, during the last wave. So, that has completely thrown the balance off of this. That was a major oversight. Devs, you need to fix this. Sorry to say. So otherwise, uh, it's just gonna be too easy every single time if you have that perk. Yep, this is kind of tragic. This would have been pretty rough to hold off with uh, 30 gold of shit. I think we could have still done it. It would have just been like slightly less units, but like, I mean, just look at what's happening. Gonna have half as many units. And we'd still be fine. Okay, come on, buddies. You can finish spawning. There's no chance of sex success for you guys. There we go. Not going to complain about a quick and easy match. Uh, I guess Glass Cannon is fine. I think I'll go back to Uferwind. And by Uferwind, I mean Nordfell. I think the Resurrection is fine as well. So let's see, this is a five round, Marty. We have seven bucks. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, let's start contrast the previous wave. Dude, that's so fucked up. Uh, I mean, a unit's gotta be better than a tower, right? These are all ranged units, so I think the easiest solution is to just get knights. What's my weapon? I cannot see my weapon. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, we'll see once we actually get in there. I guess I'm gonna want the units up here so that they can just like immediately begin respawning too. I think that makes sense. So I have a spear. Not a very great weapon, uh, but it is what it is. Looks like the knights are tanking uh, crossbow aggro for me, which is nice. Yeah, the knights are such a hard counter to the range units that completely fine. I would say that we over-prepared, but literally we could not prepare any less if we tried. We had seven coins to work with. Okay, so it's the same wave, but over on this side. It might be slightly more dudes, but, you know, I'm so unconcerned. I think we can use this opportunity to con me up. So that's exactly what I will do. 
Uh, I'm going to do an improved plow. I know there's probably going to be air units and it's going to be sucky, but still. Uh, I guess I'll do wind spirit over here and hope that that helps out a little bit too. It's going to be plus one gold either way, so you know. Oh yeah, I'm seeing the little projectile effects, uh, particle effects. It is actually helping out. That's hilarious. The poor archers. It's insult to injury. Just putting the boot in while they're down. Oh yeah, with the regeneration, the enemies just pose no threat. It be what it be. There we go. All right, we're starting to fight catapults in addition to all these other uh, range units. That's a little bit spicy. Uh, I would normally want like some berserkers. I guess I could get some fire archers. I'm actually really worried about the catapults. I mean, there's fucking five of the motherfuckers. It's kind of incredibly spicy. I guess I'll level up my keep. Uh, it is definitely the opposite of economying up, but that way, if push comes to shove, the keep will have enough HP to withstand some catapult blasts. Oh, we actually deal decent ish. Oh, Jesus. Damage now, too, because of the glass cannon perk. Okay, in this instance, I think I did definitely over prepare. But you know what? That is fine. We're gonna get 50 gold in the last wave, so it's gonna completely just like bork the economy here, anyways. Uh, okay. There's starting to be air units, too. I guess I'm definitely going to want, like, archers. I could do a scarecrow back here. I think that'll be cool. Definitely have enough range, for sure. Is there no catapults? There is, in fact, no catapults. Okay. It's just a bunch of air units. Um, in that case, I think... Just getting even more scarecrows makes the most sense. It's going to serve the dual purpose of increasing our economy and also of fucking shit up. Which will be cool. Now the projectiles are extremely slow, so that might mean that our knights will like perish and not be able to defend our hunters. Uh, in time for the Aryans to be dealt with. But it looks like we're actually fine. We sort of hit equilibrium where the knights are no longer dying. Magnificent. Love to see it. Alright, we have a fuck ton of money, which means it's the last wave. It's a bunch of dudes coming from every single angle. I think I will definitely get berserkers. I think the simple solution is going to be to just level up all of our buildings by one. I think that makes the most sense to me. And then I guess on top of that, getting, we, there, there's no need for economy, uh, getting some towers would be cool. That'll help fend off the air units. Definitely gonna just want four berserkers in every lane. Oh no, I, I don't have four berserkers for every lane where there's stuff. Well, that is fine. Uh, I'm gonna have some archers down here too. I know it's like a lot of defenses for the archers, but still. Or uh, for the uh, bottom lane. Uh, these guys can go over here to help against these catapults. 
I guess these hunters can be split up so that a couple of them are more on this left hand side. Then I guess last but not least we're going to want towers. So I don't think it would make sense to level up the fortress really. I'll level up the windmill too because it does improve the like abilities of the windmill to block projectiles. Uh, is there anything else I need? A wall or something would maybe be useful. Well, I don't think it's super necessary, though. I guess... Yeah, a tower over here would be nice. There we go. One gold remaining. I guess I will get a field. I should not have gotten that field. I don't know what I was thinking. It is whatever. Oh, come on, berserkers. Why are you being dickheads? Yeah, fight these motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, I thought they were running to the top once more. That's the one downside with the berserkers. They're really, like, annoying when it comes to positioning. There we go. I see we lost a field to the catapult menaces. Just is what it is. Yeah, I definitely feel like the the money thing completely fucks up the economy and, and pretty much anything that's got less than 10 waves. That's the inkling I'm getting, because this was really easy too. I think it's 100% off the back of the money perk. So it's actually a super perk to get. Might as well go for stage 15. Oh, we're about to get, be forced to get warrior mode soon. I guess I'll get stronger heroes and go on Uferwind. Okay, we've got a decent amount of money. We have six waves. It's all roly polies and wizards. So we're definitely gonna want just all like hunters to deal with the motherfuckers. I do think we're gonna need two buildings with hunters. Just because uh, there's so many dudes that it would not make sense to not just have four apiece. Or maybe uh, we could probably just have like all eight hunters up here, but I wanted to have economy buildings. I think the obvious economy building is just like scarecrows, right? Because that provides more anti-air DPS. More anti-air -DP DPS is more good. They have humongous range. I guess I will split up the archers. It's going to be a little bit dubious uh, with the roly polies. To the point where I think I want... Uh, I guess I'll have the other ones here. Maybe we should have went with the hero instead. Okay, I mean, the Hunters are fucking the roly polies up greatly. And they are focusing the roly polies. Okay, I think we're fine. I think I was overly worried, actually. they probably gotten away with just the four Hunters. Oh well, be what it be, you live, you learn. Now we're fighting... a bunch of battering rams and mages. So I will just get... a couple berserks. I know this is probably overkill as well, but still, I'll have the four hunters that were up top instead guard over here against the eight mages. I think four hunters should be able to handle eight mages considering there's no like upgrades or anything like that. I will get scarecrows. I will con me up. The scarecrow windmill is so goaded is actually incredible. It's a god tier unit. God tier mill. It just blows all the other mills out of the water a little bit. For the most part. I mean, there's certainly scenarios where you want the uh, other mills, but still. Okay. 
Looks like uh, we're probably going to lose a field or a few just to the power of the battering rams. <laughs> oh my god. The fucking battering rams can't one-shot the fucking fields. That is hilarious. Okay, they got one field of mine. Kind of rude. Uh, this is a little bit also extremely rude. Uh, I guess I'm going to bring the hunters over. There we go. Okay, a little bit of miscalculation. Overrested the, overestimated the, the abilities of my hunters, but at the end of the day, we lost one coin. Now we're fighting just an absolute shitload of peasants. I think I will go for Firewing once more. Is my fried ricer my best unit? How many waves we've got left? Three waves, so it would make sense to invest in the economy a little bit more. That being said, it would also make sense to have more units because we're woefully uh, under-united out. So I think getting... Oh, these cost one extra because of the fucking gladiator school. Big yikers, family. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. I could just get like a tower instead, I guess. A tower or two... And we're going to have hunters. So surely we'll be able to hold off like 200 units. Surely copium. Uh, these berserkers have no business being up there. I think I'm more afraid of the... Actually, no, I'm, I'm more afraid of the guys down here. I'll split up these hunters, though. Because firewing is down on the left, bottom left. Last but not least, I'll just buy some houses, and I guess a mill, scarecrow mill, because that'll put the like uh, dollars, the cost to entry a little bit lower for that farm up there for next round. God, that has so many dudes. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest, I thought it's going to live a little bit longer. It's trying to get in the heart of the crowd to just fucking use my explosion ability. I like the ghost feature. I think that is pretty cool. Favorite feature of people on dating websites as well. Uh, so a bunch of spearmen. And a bunch of spearmen. It looks like mostly leveled up spearmen. This feels like way easier of a wave than the previous wave. Maybe I'm underestimating it. I mean, I'm definitely more afraid of the uh, flyers here, for sure. Is there any flyers on the right hand side? There's not flyers on the right hand side. So it's going to be eight of my archers versus seven flyers. Uh, you know, I said I felt concerned. I don't really feel all that concerned. There's Dawn 5 and Dawn 6 remaining. So, I mean, this, these fields are probably worth investing in. I don't think any more fields are. I think five, five X-Men plus three archers should be enough. And this is a little bit of a clusterfuck down here. Um, I mean, getting a couple scarecrows milling will be cool. No pun intended. I guess I'll get a leveled up tower as well. Just to bolster each of these ranks. Give the spearmen something to attack. That will get a house as well. It will pay for itself, just barely. Okay. I think we're golden. I'm going to help on the left hand side. Just because I think it's the most, like, dubious. Okay. Nope, those sides are all good. Looks like the bottom right might be, might be the dubious side. No, that looks fine as well. Yep, there we go. 
Easy peasy. Okay, I thought I almost fucked that one up. Okay, uh... That's a bajillion roly polies. That is actually incredibly terrifying. I think we do just want to repair 100% of our defenses for the roly polies. Uh, leveling up the keep also makes sense to me. Then we can do... I guess I'll do Royal Mastery again. So for the waves, uh, I think it should just be like Hunter Archers guarding against the Roy Polies and then Berserkers against everything else. So I'm just gonna select all my Archers. Did I select all of them? I did select all of them. I'm gonna have the motherfuckers sort of camp here. Uh, then the Berserkers will deal with Peasants. Uh, it's probably just going to be 8 Berserkers per wave of Peasants. Uh, which definitely is not very much, but once... Uh, oh, there's only 4 Berserkers in this other one. I mean, I guess uh, Fried Ricer will go up here. And I'll build a, build a tower as well. That was a pretty rough second last night, not gonna lie. Alright, there we go. The left to end side is so fucked up. It just be what it be. Okay. Well, looks like the roly poise are in fact getting destroyed. So there we go. Not quite as rough of a wave as I thought it was going to be. Now we're getting the final wave, which is Bajillion Peasants, Elite. Bajillion Roly Polies, Elite. And then Mages. Uh, Elite. I mean, I think having an Ironclad Tower back here should be good enough to deal with the Mages. And one up here as well. I feel like pretty confident. Then I guess I'll have uh, five hunters up here to sort of help deal with the chaff over here as well. Don't really want to dedicate any more resources than that. I think an ironclad tower over here will be cool. I mean, arguably the hot oil could also be cool, but you know, don't want to go with that. Um, an iron tower over here will also be cool. Boom. Love to see it. I think we're gonna be, like, absolutely fine. In fact, I had this whole extra contingent of forces, which, uh, you know, I wasn't even using. So I think we're gonna be super fine. Probably as fine as you can be. Like, yeah, the roly polies will scratch our wall, so what? Who cares? See, our hunters are going out to destroy the roly polies. The mages are getting absolutely decimated by the towers. As, is my economy fucked? Economy is not fucked. Okay, wonderful. See, there's a massive gap in between waves once again. Is another thing that needs fixed, in my opinion. There they are. Fuck me, dude. It always feels like the fucking game is soft locked. It's like how long it takes them to show up. It's absolutely disrespectful. Oh, there we go. Oh, and that is wave 15 under our belts. Okay. I'm going to call the episode here for today. 
sort of been hitting this equilibrium when I'm doing five rounds per video. And I think that is perfectly acceptable. It's, a, it's like an hour and a half each time. At least on my end. We defeated the terrible waves 11 through 15. It was pretty good. I think, I, yeah, my initial suspicion was correct that like you hit an equilibrium and then you have like enough perks where you can just like bulldoze everything. I'm curious if there's ever going to be anything that will be enough to stop me. Uh, mm -mm. I mean, there there are more, like more and more stuff at the start, so it is possible. But it's also possible that we kind of like hit a state where we're like Sisyphus with the stone. In my opinion, I feel like a endless mode should probably not last this long but I still appreciate its existence. I mean, I guess, like, there, there's two schools of thought, right? There's, like, survival mode and endless mode, I would say, and they're both, like, related but unrelated. I was kind of thinking, articulating this in, like, a previous episode, but, like, I think for, like, survival modes, I think... I think, like, two hours is pretty crazy in and of itself, right? I think it could have probably been set up where it's like five waves or one wave or et cetera, et cetera, per round. It'd be a little bit annoying if it was just like one wave per round and you had to like rebuild everything up each and every time. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know how they could refine it, really. Man, there's things percolating in the back of my mind, like uh, the Nega mutators could be worked with, there could be perks and stuff. I don't know how much they're going to really want to focus in on this endless mode though because this could just be like a thing right like an extra thing and top off the game like if the game was just like 10 levels or 12 levels and it had this i think this would be completely fine yeah that's pretty much all my thoughts on this so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you next time for more throne fall goodbye